So let's go ahead and now do an example of finding the greatest common factor, or GCF, of an algebraic expression. And for this example, we'll take a look at the one we've been looking at, 6x cubed plus 18x squared. Now part of this process is going to be the same thing we've been doing. We're going to find the greatest common factor between 6 and 18. So remember, 6x cubed and 18x squared, those are the terms. 6 and 18 are called coefficients. Coefficient. So 6 is the coefficient of this term, 18 is the coefficient of this term. So we're going to find the greatest common factor of the coefficients, and then separately, we're going to find the greatest common factor of the variable parts here, x cubed and x squared. So let's go ahead and get to it. So we know 6, we're going to skip the factor tree part just in the interest of saving time. So 6 is 1 times 2 times 3, and 18 is 1 times 2 times 3 times 3. Okay, now what factors do these two numbers have in common? Well, they have a factor of 1 in common. They have a factor of 2 in common. They have a factor of 3 in common. And that's actually it. 6 has no more factors. So the greatest common factor for the coefficients, GCF for the coefficients, is 1 times 2 times 3 whoops, which is 6. Okay, now we do the same thing for the variable part. So if we go over to the variable part here, we have x cubed equals x times x times x. And you know what, let's also put our 1 in here just to be consistent. And x squared equals 1 times x times x. So x cubed, multiply 3x's together, x squared, multiply 2x's together. And put our 1's in there just to be consistent and thorough. Now, just like before, we're going to look, what factors do these two guys have in common? Well, they have a factor of 1 in common. They have a factor of x in common. And they have one more factor of x in common. Now, x squared is all out of factors, so there's nothing else that they can have in common. So the greatest common factor for the variable parts, greatest common factor is 1 times the x they have in common times the second x they have in common. So 1 times x times x is x squared. So the greatest common factor for the coefficients is 6. The greatest common factor for the variable parts is x squared. So the overall greatest common factor for the entire algebraic expression is the 6 multiplied by the x squared, which is just 6x squared. And that's how we find the greatest common factor of an algebraic expression. Just find the greatest common factor of the coefficients which is exactly what we did before. We're just finding the greatest common factor of two or more numbers. And then after that, find the greatest common factor of the variable parts, which is really pretty much the same. You're just expanding out these powers here. x cubed is 1 times x times x times x. x squared is 1 times x times x. And look for the factors they have in common. So that's really all there is to it. And we'll see some more examples in the upcoming videos.